What's up, sneakerheads? It's your boy, Minister of Heat, back with a quick video. Um, I know I've been MIA for a while on this portion of the channel, with sneakers and things like that, pickups, but actually um, picked something up the other day. Sorry for the any noise that might happen because obviously I'm outside, beautiful day in Florida, so why not? Uh, pick these up. You'll know what these are from just looking at the, uh, the description and uh, let's get into them. So this is my quick unboxing of them. Got them in. It looks like Nike learned a little bit because it's not the big ass box that it was before. So let's see. You got that right there. Jordan paper. This is actually the first time of all the times that I've ordered a uh, retro Jordan online from Nike that I've gotten this actual one that says, Congrats on being the owner, or blah, blah, blah. I usually get the ones to say, uh, this packing slip pretty much and that's that and you can see the box pretty much just fits the box uh and i don't know i'm gonna get this out hold on a second damn nike must have been getting charged a little bit more than they wanted to pay on these for the shipping these boat those big ass boxes they were shipping out but there you go there we are Size 11, you can see Air Jordan 12, obviously the flu games. This is my first time seeing them, so I'm really excited for these. So here we go. I'm um, actually have uh, other haul of some stuff, uh, some some Kobe's. I'll move the camera real quick so you can see. Uh, no, you won't be able to see it because that's in the way. So there you go. I got a, I got a bunch of Kobe's I picked up too. Um, so I'll be. Um, showing you guys that too. It might be in this video, it might be in a different video, but just to see, you know, what my impressions on this, how long this goes, then I might just make that a separate video altogether. So here they are. Yeah, these are dope. These are dope. Yeah, these are real dope. I got a couple of little blue stain here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, I'll peel that off later, but uh, a little extra cut there. But overall, pink. Here they are. Seen these a hundred times. You're gonna see them a hundred more, I'm sure. But this is just my unboxing of them. So this this shoe came out real good. You gotta do it. Yeah, gotta do it. Do it. Let's see, that's the left shoe. Let's check out the right shoe. Doesn't look like I got any Asian woman, Asian woman hair. Sucks, but you know, can't win all the time, I guess. Uh, here's the right shoe. It is. It is. Back. So from what I gather, um, just looking at the pairs that I've seen online on the internet, and as well as on YouTube, that uh, people are saying that they're getting some glue stains. Obviously, you know, it's being on black, it's, you're going to get that glue stain. You're going to get those glue stains, you're going to look more prominent. But um, my pair looks to be pretty good. Very good, very good. Uh, both size 11. Uh, sometimes people get mixed and matchy pairs, 126. So if you guys don't already know, uh, follow my Instagram page, Minister Heat. I'll leave that below. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, run another page, uh, Second Wind. Uh, second win, sorry, which uh, essentially is just people, um, me just copying steals and passing them on to others and passing them on to you. So I'll buy, you know, pre-owned pairs, uh, very near DS or could pass as DS. And of course they go through the process of making sure that they're authentic and cleaning them up a bit. And then I resell them for uh, less than retail and for a steal because that's what I get them for. So if you're interested in something like that, if you're not really big into being the first person to get them or DES pairs, even though I do carry DS pairs at times, but more so for that, I would probably contact uh, King Kenny 123 or my homeboy Joe Kicks 305 if you want like DS pairs. Um, but for you know very near, near DS pairs or passes DS pairs, I sell them on Instagram. I also sell them on Goat, which is the Goat app. I'm actually gonna do 
a, um, a process on how that works and how the GOAT app works. A lot of people have DM'd me on Instagram asking me, and I get a lot of messages on Twitter as well, on how it works, you know, what's the process of it, how do you get paid and things of that nature. So I'm actually gonna do a review on it. Um, it's not endorsed by them, you know, none of that stuff. So I'm actually gonna do it outside of them, uh, you know, knowing pretty much. Um, but I have had no issues with them, I'll be honest with you. Um, so, you can see a couple marks here or whatever, but it's not a big deal. Um, so, back to what I was saying about the shoes themselves is uh, the quick way to know if they're authentic or not authentic, early release, fake, which is pretty much that's what it is. Early release is, is I call them fake because it's not, you know, it's not from Nike or a retailer. Um, is that is supposed to be translucent. So, you're supposed to be able to, be able to see that. Um, it's more like a candy bottom. You're supposed to be able to see on this side as well. And I guess on the fakes, they are, are all solid or whatever the case may be. So that's one good way to tell. And then the pull tab is another good way to tell that it's, you know, all crooked or you know, lopsided or whatever the case may be. So those are the two quick ways that I saw on fake education how to do it. Um, uh, similar to the Jordan 11 uh, legit check. So whenever, you know, if you're going to pay 260 280 300 however much they're going for right now, uh, these, this pair I'm going to keep. Um, I will say... Uh, really quick though that I did sell um, my French blues it was just uh, I wasn't really in love with that shoe in particular I do love the 12 but I, that's not a colorway that I particularly care for um, it's a great it was a great shoe just looking at it I would say that the French blue leather seemed a little bit on my other pair seemed a little bit puffier um, or, or you know supple on um, I'm, you know, it's still gonna, that's still gonna break in the same, but it seemed from my, from my recollection, I'm gonna watch that video again, but from my recollection, that leather seemed to be a little bit more, is a little, was a little bit softer than this pair. This is not as plasticky as the, the, the Masters. People were saying the Masters are better than these. Nah, bruh, not even close. These are way better than the Masters. Um, colorway wise and uh, material wise from what I'm seeing. I saw the Masters in person not even close they're like more plasticky um, but these definitely um, are a, a must or must cop these are probably a must keep for me uh, depending on you know someone comes good with a good offer but I, I'm, I'm, I don't anticipate me getting rid of these um, this the fours the Nike Air fours these true blue threes and the space jams are probably uh, my most anticipated Jordans this year and I probably wind up keeping all four of them um, Excuse me for the overhead airplane, that's what it is. So I see that this ran about seven minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the Kobe haul that I got, uh, three pairs of Kobe's that I got. But overall, I'm real happy with these with this pair. Um, like I said, uh, I'm not gonna do an off feet at this very second. It's way too bright out for some reason. Uh, but I'll, I'll wind up doing, uh, just follow my Instagram. Like I said, I'll put it it's, it's down below, and uh, I wind up putting a feet up of that. and. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Stay blessed.